This is a fuel tank selector valve off of a 1988 Ford F-150. So on, on that model of truck, on that particular model, this valve, when you push the button on the dashboard to select front or rear tank, this valve makes that selection. As you can see right here, one of the plastic nipples is broken off of this one, so that makes it good for parts. The reason I took this off the truck is because there was fuel leaking right out of that area right there where my thumb is. There's a small, let's see if I can get my camera to focus. There's a small divot right there. Okay, and this lid is held on this valve with these screws. They're quarter inch head screws. So once you remove them, you remove this cover. There's an O ring right there. See that O ring? And you can see a small indentation right there. There was fuel squirting out that indentation because either I or somebody that previously removed this cover dropped that o-ring. I took the uh, selector valve off the truck because my front fuel tank was not working and I wanted to see if I could find a solution without having to, to drop the fuel tank. So the way this works is, if you remove the center screw, it, it doesn't use electricity, it uses hydraulic pressure. The, the pressure that the fuel pump pushes through it actually selects, moves this and, and, and selects the, uh, the tank. Now, I had to pause the video to, I had to pause the video in order to get both hands on this to turn this because this piece, after you remove the screw out of the center, this piece twist locks out of two little tangs, and that is what you have inside. So there's your, there's your twist lock area that twist locks onto those pistons when fuel comes from the top of this of this uh, diaphragm the pressure of the fuel pushes these pistons down that's what selects your tank so you push the selector button on your dashboard fuel comes through these lines the front or the rear go on top of the diaphragm and cause down pressure or the bottom of the diaphragm causes up pressure so it works these pistons and you can't tell because I have this off right now but these pistons pull up you can see you can kind of see that pulls up so that's how this thing works on this model and there was more than one design for one year of truck. So some 1988 Fords will have a different design. But this one has no filter in the base. My truck has a fuel pump in each tank. So you have pressure and return lines from each tank. So that's rear or front, I think. I think the rear is on the left and the front's on the right. You can verify that on your truck. Then on the other side, you have pressure and return going to another fuel pump, which is mounted on the rail, the frame rail of the truck. So all this is mounted under your driver's seat inside the frame rail. And this is mounted behind a skid plate. So it's sandwiched between a skid plate and the truck frame.
But if you're having trouble with a leak, that's the O-ring that needs to be there to stop the leak in that small divot. And I guess it's possible for these, sort of like a carburetor, to develop needle valve issues. These are needle valves below these pistons. And there is a way to disassemble those. You can see that uh, snap ring that's shaped like a wagon wheel, sort of. You can tell that that's removable. I've never totally disassembled one. But anyway, hope that helps if you're having fuel tank issues. Thanks for watching the video.